Hello, my name is Dr. Ron Dalton Jr. and I want to welcome you to this video where we're going to be talking about some exercises that you can do at home in order to um, alleviate some of the pain from a spinal disc condition. Now I want to let you know up front that it doesn't matter what the diagnosis is. So you may have a bulging disc, you may have a herniated disc, um, you may even have degenerative disc disease. These exercises will help you no matter what the condition is. So let's go ahead and get into the information here. The first thing that we're going to talk about is an exercise that involves a mini trampoline. Now this exercise is very simple and all you need if you look at the picture here is just one of these small trampolines. Usually they're about three or four feet wide and obviously you can get that at any type of a sporting goods store usually and they're very inexpensive but basically what we're going to have you doing is you want to stand in the center of the trampoline and you're just going to simply march in place. Now I want to stress that you are not jumping on the trampoline. You're basically going to stand there. You want to keep Keep your head looking straight forward and you're just going to simply march um, up and down on the trampoline is basically what you want to do. Now why would you want to do this if you have a spinal disc condition? Well the answer is that we're trying to improve your balance and one thing that you may not realize is that when you have a disc problem one of its main purposes is that it acts as a ligament and what that means is that it actually will help to hold your spine together so that the bones start, don't start falling all over the place. When you injure the disc, however, what's going to happen is that you lose some of that stability and you're going to lose some of the proper alignment in your spine. When that happens, the muscles of your spine on either side are going to start to pull unevenly and you're going to create a situation where it becomes stubborn and it's difficult to heal at that point. So what we're doing with this exercise is when you're standing in place and you're looking and when you're standing on the trampoline and you're looking straight ahead and you're just marching on the trampoline, what that does is it engages all of the muscles along your spine and it forces them to keep you balanced in an upright position that's going to force the muscles to start pulling more equally on either side and as the muscles start to strengthen from this exercise it's going to alleviate some of the pressure from the disc so that it can heal properly. Now with this exercise you want to do this just five minutes every day and over a period of a couple weeks usually it starts to show some improvement there. The next exercise that we're going to talk about is involving a therapy ball. Now let me show you what this looks like first and then we're going to talk about the instructions of how to do it. In this picture here to the right you can see that what we're using is just one of these physical therapy balls. So you may have seen these at your gym if you work out or you may have seen them in a physical therapy clinic but you can buy them just about anywhere. Uh, any type of sporting goods store would have these or even Walmart or Target or any of those places would have these. But let's talk about how we're going to use the ball first and what the instructions are and then I'm going to explain to you why we're going to do this. So the rules with this exercise are first of all you're also going to do this exercise just five minutes a day and you're simply going to bounce up and down on the ball. Now you want to bounce very gently and let's go back to this picture here. Basically we want to bounce up and down in this direction but we're going to be bouncing so gently that your body is not coming up off of the ball. All right, So it should be very very gentle and it's really important that when you're doing this that you keep your head looking straight forward and that you keep your arms down to the side. What now those are the instructions of how to do it, but let's talk about why we're going to do this. The reason we're going to do this exercise is because of something called imbibition. And in order to understand what that is, we have to look at the normal anatomy of the disc. So I've got a couple pictures here off to the side. And what we can see in this picture is we're looking at the spine from the side view. And you can see the disc is right here. And you're going to have a disc separating every set of bones in your spine all the way from your neck down to your tailbone. If you look at the picture here on the right, what we're looking at is the disc from the top down. And so you can see your spine is back here, and then this circular or oval structure is the disc. Now the way that your disc is made is that you've got a strong outer covering called the annulus fibrosus, and then you have a softer jelly substance in the center called the nucleus pulposus. One of the things that makes a disc condition really difficult to heal is that it doesn't get a lot of blood supply. And that's really significant because your body depends on blood to bring oxygen and nutrients to an injured area in order for it to heal properly. But the disc is special, it's unique. Because it doesn't get a lot of blood flow to it, what happens is that the disc will actually store oxygen and nutrients within the nucleus pulposus. However, when it gets damaged, toxins are going to build up in there, and so you start to lose some of the oxygen and nutrients within the disc. The only way that you can replenish 
those nutrients and oxygen in order for proper healing to take place is by physically pumping the disc. And that's what this exercise is going to do. And you don't have to worry if your problem is in your neck, your upper back, or your lower back. It doesn't matter because this exercise is going to pump every single disc of your spine. And what it's going to effectively do is pump out those bad toxins from the injury. And it's going to pump in fresh oxygen and nutrients for proper healing to take place. So that's the reason why we're doing that. And that process itself is called imbibition. But that's not so important. Just understand that the reason we're doing this is just so we can replenish the oxygen and nutrients for proper healing. Now, it's really important that you choose the correct size of the ball, however, because there's typically going to be three sizes available to you. A 55 centimeter ball, 65 centimeter, and 75. Most people will want the 65 centimeter ball, but here's the way that you know which size is appropriate for you. It's called the 90 degree test, and what we do is when you sit on the ball when it's blown up, you want to draw an imaginary line from your ankle to your knee and then from your knee through the center of your hip. That line should make a 90 degree angle. If you have that angle, then this is the proper size ball for you. And if you're not familiar with it, then chances are you want the 65 centimeter, like I said. Okay, but that test is the way that you know for sure that you have the right ball. Now finally, it's also important that you have a routine of stretches and strengthening exercises for your back. Now this video is short and I don't have a lot of time to go into all of the details as far as what you would do here, but basically a stretching routine needs to be done every day and strengthening exercises need to be performed at least three days per week when you have a disc injury. What I've done is I basically created a program, a complete program that includes stretches and exercises for the entire spine. However, it's not just stretching and exercises. Basically what I do is I cover a number of different steps that you need to be taking in order for proper healing of the disc to occur. Um, so what you get with this program, I'll just talk about it for a second here, is I do have a book that I wrote that includes all of these instructions, um, but also it gives you access to me via email if you have any questions along the way. Uh, and also if you have questions about any treatments that your doctor have recommended or if you want me to look at your MRI results to see if there's anything in particular that you need to be doing. All of that is included with the program that I have to offer. So if you're interested in learning more about that, you can actually go to this website link here. And what I've done is if you're watching this video on YouTube, if you just look down, there should be a description box directly underneath this video. And I have a link there that you can just click on. It'll take you right to the page. All right. Well, I hope you found this information helpful. And thank you so much for taking your time today to listen to this.